Hey guys, uh, I wanted to do <laughs> one of those videos that I'm gonna get some, I'm probably gonna catch some flack on. Um, it has to do with base management. And uh, it's one of those things that's kind of a nuance, well, it's not really a nuanced thing. Uh, this is a Denon app, okay? And one of the things you can do on that is you know manage your, your base settings. This is not groundbreaking stuff. Uh, but you can go to the manual setup and you've got your speaker configuration. Now, I've got mine set at small. Um, I actually turned off my center. I just I, That's another video I was finding the center was taking away. I, I, my, anyway, that's another story. Um, so you set everything to small. Now, what happens if you set this to large? Okay, Typically, the base that would normally be going from your mains, that would normally be going uh, from those channels to the sub, that low frequency doesn't go to the sub anymore. It goes to your, your mains. Uh, and your sub is a lot better at handling the base than your mains. And so when you switch that from large, or from small to large, you'll notice that your low frequency output suffers. Okay, now, so the, the standard recommendation is set everything to small. Just, just shut up and do it, <laughs> okay? That's the recommendation. And it's not a bad one. Um, for me, I've noticed that the, the, everything just kind of blends a lot better when you do that. But if you've got towers, okay, and, and I've just recently uh, been listening to these towers, uh, these are paradigms, and I was just kind of, you know, tinkering with them. And, you know, you got the large, small issue. And so what if you do want to send that power to your mains, and but you still want the you don't want the base to go away. You still want your subs to reproduce so that you can get kind of more of an even distribution. The more uh, low frequency sound you have coming from more areas, the better. Um, that's why dual subs are good. That's why four subs are good. That's why fifty subs are good. Okay. The more even distribution you can get, the better. So with that said, we come out of the speaker configuration, and we go down to our base level. Now, normally, this is set to just LFE, okay? Oops, sorry, out of the shot there. Hopefully you guys can see that. Um, but if you switch it to LFE plus main, okay? And I really hope you can see that. Um, you switch it to LFE plus main, what that does is it takes the, the signal that would, you know, uh, normally be going to the sub, it keeps it going to the sub, but it also sends the low frequencies to your mains, okay? So, now I'm not saying that that's the way to go, okay? Uh, I'm saying it really depends on your mains. Uh, I have some, some bookshelves that I've talked about in other videos. They don't do well in this setup. They don't do well run as large. Uh, they don't do well uh, with all of the low frequencies sent to them. They, do, they just don't. Um, the paradigms do better. Uh, they're bigger, they're a bigger tower, they're meant to go lower, and they do well. Um, but if you set your, your subwoofer mode to LFE plus main, and this is for Denon amps, I don't know about any other amps, but this is for Denon amps, uh, what that does is it gives you an option so that when you go and you switch your speaker configuration to large, okay, if I do this, now because I've got it set to LFE plus main, it's going to send that low frequency to the towers, but also keep sending the same amount of low frequency to the subs. So I'm not losing anything, right? So that's an important thing uh, to know. And I'm not saying it's best to run your, your, your towers as large. You know, small may still be the way to go. Um, where you set your crossovers, how you set your speakers, uh, all that stuff, that's all up to you. That's personal stuff. You know, you may find that, you know, I really like my, my speakers set to large. They, they, they do, that's where I'm happiest with them. Or you may find, like I did with the bookshelves, uh, that they didn't do quite as well. And I really needed to keep them small. And so, you know, this all said, I still like the setting of small better. And I run the crossover at about 90, okay? But knowing that you have that option and knowing that you can tinker with it and really kind of play with, with what's going on is a good one. And, and one more point, uh, I have uh, some sweeps that are on my Subwoofer 101 playlists on, on YouTube. It'll show you what your frequency response is or, or what your, your frequency is that is being played on the screen. And so you can see what 32 hertz sounds like. 
and you can see what 21 hertz sounds like. And what you can do to really test this scenario is you can turn your subs off and then run it through with this uh, with the front set to, to large and set to small and then you can change the crossovers and see what it does. So you can really kind of get an idea for what your amp's doing. So this is, you know, this applies to Denon amps, okay, but you may find this with whatever amp you're using, okay, you can kind of tinker with it. What I found in doing this was the bookshelves I had were not, uh, they, <laughs> I have to go back and rewrite some stuff, okay, I've been doing, you know, these sub reviews, um, and <laughs> embarrassingly, when I did this, and I've checked my bookshelves, and I, I listened to the response, I sat into large, what I found is that a peak that I thought I was getting off of a particular subwoofer was coming off my mains. And so, you know, I feel embarrassed because I'm saying, oh yeah, these subs are kind of peaky right here. They weren't. It was my mains. You know, so it kind of gives you an idea what the frequency response of your mains are doing too. Because if you've got a main that's giving you just nasty response at, at, you know, say 80 hertz or something, then if you've got a dual setup, you can cross it over higher and kind of give them more of those duties to the sub so that you're not getting that, that peak going on. And that's just kind of, that's, that was kind of specific to my situation, but it really, it was kind of an eye opener as far as what's going on with the amp and what, you know, what I'm really experiencing. The point of this whole thing with the LFE plus main is that if you set that to LFE plus main instead of just LFE, when you switch between large and small, it's not going to rob any bass. It's not going to rob any of your low frequency signal. And that's important if you're trying to get a feel for what your, what your mains are doing. And so it's one of those things, if you set it to LFE plus main, whether you set it to large or small isn't going to matter in terms of your subwoofer. Okay. Um, I, I'm getting nerdy on this stuff, but uh, it, it's just one of those things, and a lot of people, a lot of people are gonna be like, "Dude, you're confusing people," and I'm probably am. I, I probably am confusing a few people, but it, what I know is that on the Denon specifically, you set it to LFE plus main, you don't really have to mess with it anymore. You know, if you set your all your speakers to small, the LFE plus main has no difference on anything. It doesn't change anything when you go f when you're running small and everything. When you run it to large. It just means that bass won't be robbed from your subs. So I guess that's the point. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you putting up with me. And uh, please subscribe.